Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Uh, today I'm going to show how I make my beef stew and it's pretty much the same way I make my roast but instead I use a big roast instead of cut up stew meat. So let's get started. To start making our beef stew in a separate frying pan I have about two tablespoons of oil and I'm going to turn it to medium high heat and then in a separate bowl, I have about a half cup of flour that I put just a little bit of salt and pepper in just to season that up. We're going to sear our meat and get it good and brown. And I'm using about a pound and a half of the beef stew meat. We're going to get that cut open and put it in the flour. You don't really want to just soak this in flour, but we do want to give it a nice coating. Toss it around in there. And if you have any flour left over, throw it away. Because it's had raw meat in it. And then when our oil gets heated, I'll put one piece in there. It's not quite, but almost. But I do take a little strainer. Put my meat in there to shake off any of the excess flour. Just give it a good shake. And I just go ahead and throw mine all in there. It's going to brown up either way. You know, I just don't, I'm too impatient to take the time to fry up just a few pieces here and there. Now, before I touch anything else, I'm going to discard this flour and wash my hands up real good. Our meat is frying up in another pan, a deep pan. I'm going to put it on about medium heat and go ahead and start. Go ahead and start adding my uh, stock and seasoning. Toss this around. So in this pan, I'm adding two cans of beef broth. They're 14.5 ounces each. Going to add one cup of water. Then in this plate, I have one teaspoon of minced garlic, that's about a clove, one teaspoon of dried parsley flakes, one teaspoon of paprika, just a fourth teaspoon of the fresh red pepper flakes, fourth teaspoon of onion powder, a fourth teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of kosher salt, and did I, okay, and then I have one bouillon cheese, beef bouillon cheese. That just to me, it gives it better flavor. My son really likes the broth. You do not have to add that. Let me stir my meat up. Then in this bowl, I have two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I know I can't say that right. And just a dash of Louisiana hot sauce in there. Add that in. And just mix this up. And while this is heating up, we'll continue to fry up our beef. If you want to add chopped onion to your stew, then don't add it right now. But I'm going to go ahead and add a whole onion to my broth because we don't like it once the onions just cook to death. But if you want to wait and add it later when we add in the potatoes, that's fine. But I will be straining this later on when I get ready to add the potatoes. So I'm going to add just one large onion that I quartered up. So here's my onion quartered up going in.
We'll give this another minute or so. And to me, I'm happy with the way this looks. Even though there's still, even though there's still a little bit of red right there, this is fine. So carefully add it to your sock. Then we're going to bring this up to a bowl, cover it, turn it down to a simmer, and we're going to simmer this for about an hour, an hour and a half. It doesn't matter. I know these types of cubed up beef can be tough, but once you simmer it for a while, it should get good and tender. So I'll bring it to a simmer, cover it, and let it simmer gently for about an hour, hour and a half, and then we'll be back. All right, my um, stew is cooked for about an hour and a half, two hours, barely simmered. So, it because you want that tough cut of meat to be real good and tender. So now I'm going to turn the heat up to about a medium, medium high. I'm going, I'm going to add about five to six medium to small potatoes that I've cut in thick chunks. I've got about a cup to a cup and a half of potato uh, carrots. I've done fished my onion out. If um, you want to add or leave that onion in, that's fine. We just don't like it. My daughter don't like it in there. So it's done, gave its flavor. So I'm going to carefully add these. And I am going to have to add just a little bit more water. I added about three-fourths of a cup. Stir it up real good. And I'm going to cover it. And let it not like hard boil, but, you know, a good boil. Cover it. Continue to stir it from time to time. And let this cook in about another hour. So we'll see you back then. Our beef stew is done. Uh, it cooked for about another hour, and then you can let it rest for a few minutes. If the potatoes doesn't thicken up the stew that you know to the consistency that you like, <clears throat> you can mix a little cornstarch with some water and add that in there, and let it cook for a few more minutes. This is real good, and I always make. I made biscuits to go with my stew. But I hope you enjoy. Remember, everybody eats, so you might as well enjoy.